What's up everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's a beautiful evening. Thank you very much for stopping by. You very much appreciate it. Thank you very much, South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana. Thank you so much, Ethiopia, Somalia, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi. Thank you very much for stopping by. Namibia, you much appreciate it. Jamaica, UK, United States of America. Thank you so much, Liberia, Sierra Leone. I see a lot of people watching us from Fiji. Very impressive. Serbia, South America. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to be very quick. We have a lot of things to say. So this is your first time. You are very much appreciated. Please join us. Click on subscribe. I'm sure you're going to love us. We love you already. And before we start, let's all do this. Okay, let's all do this. Is it done? Great. So um, this will help us make our voice bigger. Great. So today we're talking about something very interesting. I'm sure you're going to love it. So South Africa is under pressure, tremendous pressure from the United States to stop using Huawei as an equipment for telecommunication. Yes. The U.S is pressurizing South Africa to stop using Huawei as an equipment for telecommunication. It's made by China and because the USA and China don't get along quite well, they are pressurizing South Africa to drop Huawei. Okay, so they say South Africa spreads US pressure to stop using China Huawei technology. South Africa wants to come to pressure from the US to stop using Huawei technology equipment in its network. The nation's ambassador to the five nation BRIC bloc said, Countries are facing increasing pressure from the US to take a harder stance on China as conflict over Taiwan and battles for dominance in technology from artificial intelligence to chips and quantum computing escalate. The tension have raised concern around the world about Asian nation using Huawei in core telecommunication network to spy and sabotage system. So basically the USA and the Chinese are going through a very hard moment because of Taiwan. For those of you who know, uh, China is trying to claim Taiwan back as part of its country. The Chinese believe that Taiwan and China should be one country. So they are putting a lot of pressure on Taiwan right now. Taiwan is protected by the United States under brackets. And the USA is trying to put pressure on China by asking other countries not to use China products anymore. And now South Africa is one of the victims facing the pressure from the United States. There was a tremendous pressure on us from the US to stop using Huawei network, Anil Soklal said in a lecture in the University of KwaZulu-Natal on Wednesday. It is banned in the US and a major part of Europe has banned Chinese technology. So the US has banned Huawei. Okay, I'm sure you don't see it in America anymore. Huawei was banned in 2019, same as many European countries decided to ban Huawei. They were accused of spying. Okay, there was never really hard proof to Huawei spying on Americans and European nationals. But they say the Chinese mobile cell phones and equipment were spying on citizens of Europe and the USA. This is exactly what China wants. They want to divide Western alliances through bits and bytes, not bullets and bombs. South we Africa has a close relationship with China, its largest trading partner, and will all sit together with other BRICS member, Brazil, Russia, India, in a summit on August 22nd. The bloc is expected to make pronouncements on enlargement of the group in summit. Okay, so what's happening with Huawei and the United States? Okay, I'm gonna, you know, make it quick so we can understand. What is Huawei? Huawei is one of the largest telecommunication companies in the world. At the start of 2019, the company was expected to become the world's largest smartphone manufacturer by the end of that year, stealing the crown from Samsung and iPhone. Despite this success, Huawei has dealt with numerous accusations over the years over the shady business practices. It also has been accused, although with no hard proof, of using its products to spy on other nations. Okay, so, so there's been a lot of allegation against Huawei, especially from the United States, from Donald Trump, saying that Huawei equipment was spying on U.S. citizens. Huawei is very dangerous. We cannot allow any other country to outcompete the United States in this powerful industry of the future. Okay, is this true? We don't know. But how is this different from U.S. equipment? Don't they spy on citizens? Don't they have, you know, systems that's re big data that get into everybody's, you know, everybody's data is read, they can access? It's one in the same thing, isn't it? The United States President Donald Trump announced that Huawei, along with several other Chinese companies, was now on something called Entity List. Companies on this list are unable to do business with any organization that operates in the United States. So Huawei and many other Chinese companies were not authorized to work in the United States anymore. The Huawei ban thus begins. With Huawei suddenly unable to work with companies such as Google, Calcom and Intel, among many others, in the case of Google, this means that new Huawei iPhone are no longer available to ship with Google on app pre-installed. 
So I don't know if you remember, there was a moment where people were on Huawei could not download apps. They gave you an ultimatum, like from now on till whatever date, you will not be able to download anything from Google. It was very difficult for many people, right? So Google excluded Huawei from its platform, disabling Huawei from accessing APIs. Therefore, people using Huawei cell phone could not use Google as a platform. And it was a big hit against Huawei at that time. With the Huawei US ban in effect, the company has had to completely revamp on how it creates and releases smartphone. It's also faced mounting scrutiny from other nations. You know how it works. If you piss off the United States, uh, most of European countries will follow up. So most European countries started banning Huawei. Huawei was the best producer of 5G networks. Yes, so they were on the top of the line. To avoid competition, the United States wanted to ban Huawei and ask all of their friends not to use Huawei anymore. And this was very hard. I remember some of us could not use Google Map, you, you know, to navigate. You could not find the location. You had to use other alternatives, other ways, you know, use third-party apps in order to use your Huawei and cell phone. So many companies stopped using Huawei, like Microsoft could not work with Huawei, Intel could not work with Huawei, Vinia could not work with Huawei. So it's made it very difficult. And Huawei users had no access to service mobile of Google. Service mobile are what allows you to actually use a mobile phone. So let's get back to the ground. So this is very simple. The United States have issue with China. Instead of dealing with China because they're two big power, fight each other and, you know, bomb each other. So everything, you know, everything is straight. They don't want to do that. They'd rather get other people to fight their fight for them inconveniencing a full society. So now, as we can see, they're putting South Africa under a lot of pressure to stop using Huawei, which is an independent country. Does that even make sense? We know that the ambassador of the United States a while back accused South Africa of sending weapons to Russia with no proofs. And this threatening South Africa to be kicked out of AGOA, AGOA, which is a process that they use to facilitate African countries from exporting their goods to the United States at a very reduced tax rate. So basically, AGOA is a system that allows many African countries, if you have things to export to the United States, you can expand your markets by sending your stuff to the USA at a very reduced tax bracket. South Africa profits greatly from Agoa, enabling 60,000 South Africans to get jobs through Agoa and a few thousands of Americans. So for the past couple of months, South Africa has been through a lot of pressure, a lot of blackmailing. If you do this, we're going to block Agoa. Now they're getting under pressure. They're forcing South Africa not to use Huawei anymore. People forget that Huawei is not just cell phones. Huawei is servers. Huawei can be at the core of information technology at network levels enabling people of a country to communicate and exchange. For Africans, we all know that Huawei has made a tremendous job throughout Africa. For many of us who cannot afford iPhones and Samsung, many of us can afford Huawei's. Very good communication, very clean photos, very nice device to use and a very affordable price for many Africans. Now, my question is this. How can you accuse a company of spying on people if you have no proof? Because apparently Huawei provided the codes necessary to the USA to be inspected by professionals to see if there's any malicious code in there. They found nothing because if they had found, they would have brought it into light. My question is, how can we survive in a world where you are asked to do th things in a certain way? Some people want to impose who can be your friend and who cannot be your friend. Some people want to tell you what you can use or what you can't use. And if you decide to choose what you want to choose, then you become their enemy. I want to know how you feel about this. How do we combat this? Some people want to use Huawei because it's easy to use, because it's cheaper, because it's more affordable, because it's rigged, because it's solid, because it's less expensive. Should all African nations stop using Huawei because the USA is not happy with China? Is that the fair war? Is that democracy that you're preaching us? Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure to hear from you. Very interesting view. I think we need to come together as one voice so we can learn from one another. God bless.